Hi, I'm Tam. And I'm Bobby. Welcome to our adventures. Good morning, it's day 239 and we are still in Stockholm, Sweden. I've got an appointment to get my nails done today and Tam is going to do some free range wandering. That's our plans. After the Ice Age around 8000 BCE, there were already many people living in what is today the Stockholm area, but as temperatures dropped, inhabitants moved south. Thousands of years later, as the ground thawed, the climate became tolerable and the lands became fertile. People began to migrate back to the north. At the intersection of the Baltic Sea and Lake Malaren is an archipelago site where the old town of Stockholm was first built from about 1000 CE by Vikings. It had a positive trade impact on the area because of the trade routes they created. Stockholm's location appears in Norse sagas such as Agnifit and Himskringla in connection with the legendary king Agni. Burka, located near Stockholm, was one of Sweden's major trade centers during the Viking Age and its restored remains are one of Stockholm County's most visited sites. The earliest written mention of the name Stockholm dates from 1252, by which time the mines in Bergenslagen made it an important site in the iron trade. The first part of the name Stock means log in Swedish, though it also may be connected to an old German word meaning fortification. The second part, home, means inlet. Good morning! It is day 240 of 274 and we are in Visby, Sweden today. We'll get off and see what's here. That's our plan. Nothing big. All right, we're off the ship in Visby, Sweden. Stinky fish. Okay, we're on the shuttle bus. It was 10 euros. It's going to take us into town and we will see what's there. We are walking to the Botanical Gardens in Visby, Sweden along the beach road. There's the beach. Here's where we are. Door is open. Pam is exploring. I don't know if I'm going to go in there because it looks really low. What was in here? Oh, food cup. Sit down. Lovely botanical garden. Good morning! It's day 241 and we are in an unpronounceable place, Galapagos, Lithuania. Right. We're off the ship in Galapagos, Lithuania for our shore excursion to go to see a Russian nuclear missile site and a national park and have some Lithuanian food and a beer and a pub. That's our day today. First stop. We're walking to an overlight, over, overlook, overlook uh, of a lake, a lake overlook. We do not have anticipation when we get We do trust and we rely only on the natural rain. This territory became a part of the Jemaitia National Park in 2012 and the museum was renovated. So our tour should
should think about an hour. We want to work to take care of your heads because most of the doors are locked. Symbol of the Roman Cold War. 1955, the era of missile production. That type of missiles was in this base, this R12 or SS4 Sandal. In that time, this missile was the most powerful. At the beginning of 1962, Soviet Union leader Nikita Khrushchev received some bad news that Americans had deployed 15 nuclear missiles in Turkey that could destroy Moscow, Kiev, Minsk, and other major cities within a minute. Is that a kick moving around? Yeah. We're sliding. One missile in 22 minutes can destroy three American states. So, so what what if this is show to us? What does it mean for me? Good morning, it is day 242 and we are in Rhone, Denmark, or Rhone, I don't know how to say it. Uh, yeah, that's where we are today. Alright, we're off the ship in Rhone, Denmark, heading towards the free shuttle into town. Alright, shuttle bus dropped us off at the foot of that hill there. Doesn't look like a big hill, but I'm resting for a little bit. Tam's doing a wander, we're going to see what's here. Good morning! It is day 243 of 274 and we are in Kiel, Germany. It's an overcast day, it's supposed to rain. Um, we're going to go shopping. Pride Mark, get some clothes and uh, also look for some fruit candy. Because this is probably the last cheap place we'll be. And we'll also use some of our euros, so that's our plan today. Alright, we're off the ship in Kiel, Germany. We're sitting on a park bench trying to call an Uber to go to Primark. That's what we're doing, but it's taking a little while, so... Just kind of sitting. Uh, mission accomplished. We got uh, clothes we needed, underwear and stuff. We got fruit candy, we got magnets, we had a really good lunch and a beer. Now we're slowly working our way back to the ship. And uh, it's 2 o'clock, all aboard is 4 30. I think I'll make it. It's only 850 meters. Good morning, it is day 244, up to 74, yep, that means there's 30 days left, we're in Copenhagen, and not sure what we're going to do, I'll probably stay on board, let's we'll see what Tam wants to do. Alright, we're off the ship in Copenhagen to go through immigration.
Good morning. It is day 245 and we are in our house in the middle of our street. Our house. Anyway, um, we'll get off see what's here. We're off the ship in our house and it's very chilly. Very, very chilly. Some cool street art. So in the shop area, we got magnets. We got some new earrings and a pretty little ring. And we got some Danish cornbread, I guess. It's really good. So we've wandered to the mall. Tam is looking for some more crew candy. I went in to look for a couple of, I'm looking for a strapless bra. Um, but they don't seem to have them here. So um, we're probably gonna get something to eat and then um, yeah. Yeah, head back to the ship. I love the butt.